What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. The question we have all asked ourselves about the rat, can the rat swim? We got the GoPro head strap on. Go ahead and clean this up a bit. The rat left, he knows what's coming to him. If you guys are wondering about the GoPro accessories, I actually did buy a really cheap GoPro kit online. How do I close this? Push. I'm pushing. There he is, ha, <laughs> the rat. <laughs> Ooh, no. <laughs> I think he wants to go out and pee. I'm not sure. Let's take him out real quick before he hops in the pool. Let's start filling it up. There he goes. Full speed ahead. What? You think you're gonna make a video, huh? You want to make a video. He's like, what the hell is on your forehead? Is that the fucking GoPro on my forehead, bitch? Get over here, the rat. <laughs> Oh, there you go, the candles. Candles can get wet, right? We will be needing something to dry him with. The rat swimming might be the cutest thing on the internet. I break the internet. The rat! <laughs> I really like the head strap. I will be doing a review on the GoPro accessory kit I bought. I believe it was around $20. There you are. You ready? How tall is he? Let me see. The rat's the size of my hand. <laughs> this dog has been to the lake. We did make him swim. Most dogs are able to swim. It's a natural instinct for them. Dogs that are top heavy. A good example of a top heavy dog is the Doberman. Skinny ass legs, they're really thick from the body. That doesn't mean they can't swim, but it does make it harder for them to swim. Da da da. <laughs> da da da. This is too funny. Let's drop him in slowly. This is some good exercise for you, huh? Okay, swim this way. <laughs> He's so fast! Look at his stroke game, it's incredible! Come on, the rat! Come on! The rat might be the next Michael Phelps. He has incredible strokes. It's really fierce too. He doesn't care about life at all when he's swimming. I can't say the same thing when he's on land. Oh no, he can reach! He can read. He's still stroking for his life. <laughs> there you go, the rat swim. Good strokes, good form. I like the persistence. Digging the energy level. Keep going, the rat, you're doing good. Keep going. Good. Calm down with the strokes. That was probably your fastest 50. Settle down, settle down. I know you want to stretch. Today we will be practicing the back strokes. So let's begin. Good. Where do you think you're going? I want to see those power strokes you were doing, all right? You're getting really fast at that 50, man. Your old coach would have been so proud of you, the baby rat. I'm guessing you like the water. The water's nice and warm. It's lukewarm. I know you like everything warm. Swim. Use your back beat. There you go. That was good. I want you to know you can do better, though. All right? I know you're showing me better right now.
free. Go, boy, that rat. Now it's time for your shower. I'm gonna let the water go. Yeah. Just keep stroking, there's no stopping you. You reach. This Sunday, we will be going to the lake. I will be taking Crypto. Make sure you guys look forward to a swimming video with Crypto at the lake. I've never been to this lake, pretty excited. Yo, is that a flea? Look at that. He's got all kinds of fleas. Oh wait, no, those aren't fleas. All right, I got it. These rat dogs, I don't know why, but they always do carry a lot of fleas. A really good way to check for fleas, add the shampoo, let it sit for about three minutes. If the dog does have fleas, the fleas will surface to the top of their skin since they're drowning with all the soap. Make sure you guys buy the shampoo that kills fleas, not just the one that smells good. This is the one I use, Hearts Ultra Guard. It smells like pine cones. If the color green had a smell, this is it. When you're removing the shampoo is when you should be checking for fleas. They will be drowsy because of the shampoo, which makes it much easier to remove them. When you do remove the tick, make sure you kill the bastard. Pinch it to its death. Carry an extra little bowl of water for you to put all the ticks in. Look, I see one right there, you see that? Move your dog's fur the opposite direction, exposing their skin. For this, the fur does have to be moist. Shout out all my ladies. Poor the rat. You can feel how thick they are. The thicker they are, the more blood they have in them. So the harder they've been sucking off your dog. Add some water, the water does make it a slightly easier for them to be removed. This one's hard. The easiest way to kill and remove a tick is by pinching it as if you were popping a zit. Your dog's spinal cord is a really good area that fleas like to hang out. Check their spinal cord, check their balls. Their balls is also a really known area. Their butt. Stray dogs usually have all the fleas in their nuts, just like my ex. Looks like this dog only had two ticks, hopefully. You could always just add another layer of shampoo. You don't wanna shower your dog too many times. It could be bad for their coat. Let them shake off. Let them remove as much unwanted water as possible. And trust me, your dog might hate baths. A dog is always at its happiest after the bath is done. So even if your dog hates baths, he will love the aftermath of the bath. They will feel amazing after a good bath. Even though bathing your dog could be bad if you do it a lot, it's always important to bathe your dog. I've only showered Crypto, my Siberian Husky, four times in his whole lifetime. If your dog's an indoor dog, of course, he will be showering way more often. Since Crypto is outside, I really don't care of how he smells. Like I mentioned, I am going to the lake. Pacheco State Park. There are dogs allowed. There's no dogs allowed on the trails. It looks really nice. I just really want to go for the lake. I'm gonna try to make them follow me all the way deep inside. We are setting up. We got the shade. We got a table. I'm not sure if we will be taking other dogs. Crypto's enough trouble as it is. High five. We have life jackets on deck. You know what's coming, huh? We have a boogie board on deck. Do have some huge inflatable duckies. You guys have all asked me if this dog can swim, so we're about to find out. Most dogs are natural swimmers. I'm pretty sure he'll like the water since it is pretty hot. Never actually been swimming. I'm not sure why. I live pretty close to places where I could take him swimming. This will be a family trip. I will be going with some of my cousins. Look forward to that, guys. The video will probably be posted on Tuesday. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace.